fireballs can drop meteorites anytime, any place. Are you ready to find them? I am Fireball Steve, professional meteorite hunter, host of the award-winning television series Meteorite Men, seen by millions of people worldwide. Welcome to episode one of my new show. I'm here to teach you everything you need to know about fireballs and meteorites. I have spent decades hunting for and finding literally tons of these rare and valuable space rocks all over the planet. Now, in a few short episodes, I'm going to share with you everything you need to find them too. Meteorites can be worth a lot of money if you're lucky enough and smart enough to find one. How much are they worth? Well, we will talk about that more in future episodes. But you've heard the term pennies from heaven? Well, we're talking a lot more than just pennies. Now, I can't guarantee if you watch these episodes that you will find a rock worth $5,000 or $10,000, but I can guarantee you one thing, if you don't get up off the couch and go out and look, or if you go look in the wrong place, you won't find anything. Ideally, you're here watching before a fireball drops rocks in your area. But if that is not the case, and one just landed near you, I'll help you get caught up and trained right here in just a few short videos so you can get out there and find one. While finding a meteorite may sound unrealistic, ordinary people just like you do indeed find meteorites. I've met hundreds of people who have found them. I've personally been with over 100 people when they found their very first meteorite. One of my favorite stories was in 2003 in the south suburbs of Chicago. My youngest daughter Kelsey was six years old and we were in the town of Crete. The town was peppered with five to 15 gram sized specimens and they were everywhere and the easiest places to spot them were in the city streets. This was about two weeks after the fall. Kelsey had found her first ever meteorite and we were looking for more when we walked by a father and his 10 year old son playing catch with a football in the front yard. They said hi and asked what we were doing looking so intently at the ground. We said we were looking for meteorites. They had heard of the eight houses being hit in the neighboring village of Park Forest about five miles away by cannonball sized meteorites, but they had no idea that there might be some pieces of the same fireball around them. They asked what they look like and I told Kelsey to show them her new find. They examined it, I gave them a business card and off we went. It wasn't five minutes later until the boy and his dad rode up on their bicycles and said, Mr. Arnold, is this one? And the boy was holding the most beautiful little 10 gram meteorite. Not only did Kelsey get to find her first meteorite that day, she also got to experience the joy of sharing her find and educating someone else to go find their own. And this is what I live for. Nothing on planet Earth excites me more than helping people find meteorites. Sure, I love finding them myself, but my goal with this project is to help tens of thousands of people get trained and get out looking for them and finding meteorites of their own. Will you be one of them? Most people on YouTube want to get a million or more subscribers, right? And while that might be nice, I would be over the moon to help train even a thousand meteorite finders. Anyone can be a meteorite hunter, but it takes some skill and effort to be a successful meteorite finder. While I can't take everyone out personally to hunt, the great news is that you don't need me to be with you to be successful. Take what I'm about to teach you and go do it yourself. In this series of short episodes, the first few are the most important ones you need to watch. Assuming a meteor just lit up near you and you want to go hunt a few minutes from now. As time permits, you'll want to work your way down through the other videos, including 
how to sell the meteorites you find for the most money. In the description below, we have links on where to go for general up-to-date information like our Facebook group page. If a fireball just dropped rocks in your area, you will need some specific information on your fireball of interest. And again, down below in the description, we'll give you those links. And be sure to subscribe here and turn on the notifications. The bottom line is you'll want to stay tuned in and in contact for breaking news. Next, you'll need to run to your local store and pick up a few things on your way out to hunt. First, you need the strongest magnet you can find. Rare earth magnets are the best, and you can go to the automotive section and buy a magnet on the end of a telescoping antenna used to fish dropped wrenches out of your car engine. Most meteorites have enough iron in them that they will be attracted to the magnet. This will let you qualify and disqualify 90% of potential rocks and it will save your back a lot of pain from bending over 100 times per hour. There are better magnets to buy if you have time to prepare, but this will hold you over if you want to go hunting today. You'll want to grab some small baggies in the craft section. If you find meteorites, you'll want to bag them and tag them. Get a Sharpie if you don't have one to mark on the bags when and where you found the specimens that you hopefully will be finding. Run to the pharmacy section and pick up some moleskin and bandage tape. Let's hope your shoes are very comfortable and already broken in, but if not, you'll want to stop the blisters within the first minute of noticing they are forming. Depending on the season, sunblock and insect repellent could be important as both could save you a lot of pain just a few hours into the hunt. While in sporting goods, consider buying a nice, sturdy, telescoping walking stick. They actually come in pairs. Practically, a walking stick can help you keep your balance, but it also allows you a longer reach if you want to tape your rare earth magnet near the bottom of the stick. If you want to do that, pick up a roll of bright colored duct tape, as this will help you to spot black crusted meteorites jumping up and sticking to the magnet. Also, if you need to poke around in weeds or bushes, the bright colors help you spot where the magnet is. Then grab a 24 pack of water in bottles to stay hydrated. If word is that meteorites have already been recovered, get over to that area as fast as possible. Look for other meteorite hunters. Those that join with us sport our team colors of bright neon yellow. So if you see someone walking around, scanning the ground visually and wearing bright yellow, he or she is very likely one of us. Go talk to them. Share info that you have and find out what they know. While you're at the store, if you don't already have a bright yellow shirt or hat, grab one. It will help other people spot you as one of the trained hunters. If someone has found a meteorite, ask to look at it. Take a good look at it because that is what you want to train your eyes to look for. It's okay to get a little jealous, but let it fire you up to go out and find one of your own. You will also know the size of the rocks being found near you. Great intel to have. A meteor will often break up into multiple, if not many pieces. If one or more have been found, there's a good chance there are more nearby. Take your new intel and try to get lucky and find something now. There are a few things that you will need that most local stores don't carry. I tried to bring extras with me on fireball chases. These include extra strong rare earth magnets, jewelers loops, small scales, waterproof paper notebooks, one centimeter photo cubes, test magnets on a string, and our team yellow bandanas. And sometimes I even have extra black painted earth rocks so people can throw them out on the ground and practice spotting them. If you see me out hunting and you want any of these items, let me know. And if I'm not sold out, you won't have to wait two days for the mail to get them to you.
If this video has helped you, click like. And do me a favor, if you've seen a fireball, let me know when and where down in the comments below. It's always interesting to see all the comments pop in when a new fall happens. And if enough of you report below on a newly fallen meteorite, I might come out and join you on a hunt in the next few days. Sometimes people go their entire lives without seeing a meteorite dropping fireball. I've been chasing fireballs for a long time and personally have never seen one with my own eyes. If you have, consider yourself lucky and tell me all about it below. Check out the next episode in our series and remember, anyone can find meteorites, even you.